بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Today is 15th of Ramadan We're halfway through this blessed month and the days are counting Today is also the auspicious birth anniversary of Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba the most generous of the Ahlul Bayt Congratulations to all of you brothers and sisters on this blessed day اللهم ارزقني فيه طاعة الخاشعين يا الله on this day grant me the obedience of the humble واشرح فيه صدري بإنابة المخبتين expand my heart on this day through the repentance of the humble بأمانك يا أمان الخالفين by your protection or the shelter of the fearful. As you notice, today's du'a has a key word, khushu' humility, being humble. So what is ta'at al The worship of the humble. An example for that would be this verse of the Holy Quran. الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who are humble in their prayers. So what does it mean to be humble in the prayer? Does it mean that we shouldn't look to the right or left? Our mind shouldn't be occupied with other things? Is it just that? Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam in interpretation of this verse says Khashi'in are those who can tell the right from the left. They can't tell which is which because their soul is so detached from the material world while they are praying that they can't say for sure, which is right and which is left. We can look for examples of Salat al-Khashain among our ulama. We hear stories of the prayer of Ayatollah Buru Jirdi. They say when he was praying, if you were close to him, you could hear his bones shaking. That's the kind of prayer we're looking for. A lot of us might have seen the videos of Ayatollah Bahjat's prayer where he cries constantly during the prayer and it wasn't just him because of his humility because of the way he prayed other people would be inspired by that they would be moved by that and they would cry too so we want this kind of prayer when it comes to fasting we want the sincere fast where our heart is detached from anything but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We talked about the sincere fast on day one, if you remember. Humility plays a very pivotal role in our lives. Each one of us, during our lifetime, we have a defining moment. And in that defining moment, we usually have to choose between two options. A lot of times, if you look closely, the options are arrogance and humility, the two opposite. An example for the person who chose arrogance in his defining moment is Iblis. He was tasked to bow to the man and he refused the command of his Lord. He chose arrogance. He said, I'm better than him. Something that, unfortunately, we see a lot among our Muslim brothers and sisters. In the Muslim communities around the world, we see that uh, those who were born into Islam, they take that as a privilege, and they think they are above those who reverted from other religions to Islam. An attitude that we should get rid of, seriously. An example for someone who chose humility in his defining moment is a thief, a low-life thief named Fuzayl ibn Ayyad. You might have heard the story. He was gonna rob a house. He climbed the wall and he heard someone in the house reciting the Holy Quran and this specific verse. 
Is it not time yet for those who believe that their hearts should be humble in Allah remembrance? Is it not time yet? Haven't you done enough? Haven't you been arrogant enough in your life? Maybe it's time for you to be humble. And Fuzail ibn Ayaz pondered for a moment and then he said, yes, it is the time. Enough is enough. I've done enough ignorance. I've done enough arrogance. He climbed down the wall and he repented and he became a very pious man. So humility can turn our life upside down in a single moment. وَاشْرَحْ فِيهِ السَّدْرِ بِإِنَابَةِ الْمُخْبَتِ وَاشْرَحْ سَدْرِ We hear that a lot. أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ سَدْرَكْ رَبِّ اشْرَحْ لِي سَدْرِ These are verses from the Holy Quran. We hear that a lot. What does it mean to expand my chest, to expand my heart? It's not a physical expansion. It's the expansion of our soul. It's like adding a memory card to your phone. You will have more room to store information. How does one's soul get expanded? By the repentance of the humble. What Fazail ibn Ayaz did was inabat. Inabat is one step higher than tawbah and repentance. Remember when we uh, talked about all the conditions that one should have before he can be among tawwabin. This is one step higher than that. Inabat is repentance and returning towards Allah while cutting all ties from anything that can keep you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What Fuzail ibn Ayyaz did was the same. He was a thief. So after he had his epiphany and he repented, he actually cut all ties from his previous life. Anything that he had was either stolen or bought with the money that he stole. So he stripped himself out of everything that he had. He started working honestly, earning honestly, and he became very pious, started worshipping all the time and helping other people. So that is an abba, that is one step higher than repentance. And when you expand your soul, your soul has the ability to fly higher and achieve more and more. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to expand our souls. But we have to take the first step. We have to do an abba. We have to do repentance. And we have to start being humble. That's it for today's du'a. Thank you for watching and don't forget to read du'a mujir today. Today is 15th, the last of the three days. And please keep us in your prayers. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.